Hey Hans, I'm going to be showing you uh, my usual process when creating a digital artwork like this. I just wanted to run you through kind of the things that I tend to do when making a finished illustration. So for sketching it's really rough to start with, um, I'm not worrying too much about being really neat. Um, as you can see my lines are quite sort of scratchy, it's something I'm trying to work on um, in terms of kind of line quality. but. Yeah, I just kind of get the overall kind of composition down. I focus a little bit on some anatomy and structure, but not too much, um, especially when um, you know it's, it's not kind of the core of the piece. I um, tend to redo the sketch a couple of times. Sometimes in a piece, I will uh, kind of go over it sometimes two, maybe three times uh, before I'm happy with it to start line art. Um, I know some artists um, who have been doing this for years and years and years kind of tend to do a really rough, kind of very soft sketch and then line art straight on top of that. I'm not quite confident enough in my skill yet to do something like that. So yeah, I tend to do a couple of sketches, get the overall kind of idea down. Often I will end up hiding so much of this. Um, as you can see, I kind of start to like minimize sort of the under sketch layers and kind of re refine over the top of it. The next thing I tend to do is kind of a lighting thumbnail. So this is before I do line art and sometimes it helps with doing my line art as well because I can kind of see where shadows are being cast, where kind of transitions of forms might happen. So I can kind of make my line art look a bit more finished and refined. So um, what I tend to do, sometimes I re-sketch things if it doesn't make sense uh, in the stage as well, um, but I will do some very rough values and then lighting over the top of that so I can get a better idea of how the final piece might turn out. Once I'm really happy with the lighting and the um, overall kind of tones and values of the piece, I'll start doing line art. Um, this part is sped up way more than the rest of the video because line art just takes so darn long. So yeah, I kind of start refining the piece, adding in really fine details, things like these with bows on her blouse and um, you know, the, the sort of pleats of her clothing uh, and kind of really fine details. Um, some parts can take a while to kind of figure out, I find, things like the hair I still really struggle with. But um, I'm really happy with how the line art of this came out. Um, yeah, it feels uh, quite clean and I, I really liked it, even as a kind of standalone uh, piece of art.
next bit of the process is kind of flat colour and more lighting. So at this stage I kind of start filling in my line art. What I like to do is kind of fill it in manually. I know there's shortcuts you can do in Lip Studio, but I just like having more control over what I'm doing um, and seeing exactly what happens. Um, you can see me using the autofill in parts, but I do kind of go in and refine that. Uh, what I also do is start doing some first lighting passes, um, just to kind of get an idea of where the light's coming from. I start thinking about the background as well at this point, uh, just in terms of colour and kind of overall composition, just to kind of get an idea, a feel of, of how the finished piece might work. I then start adding kind of more lighting tones from the light source, wherever that may be in the piece. In this case, it's um, on our top left as we look at the piece. Um, and then I start refining the lighting really heavily at this point. I'm thinking about kind of uh, bounce lights or bounce uh, cast shadows from other elements on the piece as well as from the light source itself and um, this one is one of my favorite bits so it's kind of really selling the kind of 3d aspect of this even though it's only 2d shapes which I find really fun and challenging to do uh, it can be really tricky sometimes but yeah I find this bit probably my favorite out of the whole process Because I've done all that lighting on a layer above my flat colours, uh, once I start adding the colours back in, you can really see them start to pop out um, and really create that definition. What I'll do then is once the colours are in um, and I can see them, I'll start kind of refining uh, more shadows and making it even darker. Contrast is important. Uh, I find a lot of new artists especially are really afraid of going really dark on some of the shadows, but it can really make a piece pop, so don't be afraid to really push it. Next is rendering. Um, rendering is some of the most fun bits. This is where you start adding in those elements that really make a piece feel detailed and really polished. Um, I go about sort of softening a lot of those shadow layers that I was creating earlier um, and sort of adding kind of glowy effects um, and adding extra colors into places. Um, what I find um, is basically adding in the colours that you wouldn't expect to be somewhere really makes a piece pop. So like all the oranges on her coat, um, I was imagining a kind of like warm light tone from the front of camera, uh, lighting her up from underneath. So I started adding in these kind of orange tones, which really helped kind of, you know, make it feel like there was kind of warm, inviting atmosphere. I kind of wanted the overall mood of this to be kind of mysterious, slightly kind of romantic feeling, uh, really inviting and warm and yeah I just really liked Ronnie as a character so I really wanted to kind of get that mood across I guess. Um, so yeah I start adding kind of dust effects, particles and really refining kind of uh, sort of tertiary lighting so here you can see me adding all those orange tones in. Uh, it really helps kind of sell the 3D-ness um, of the character as well. And yeah, I love balancing kind of really warm orange tones with those really bright teal colours. Uh, I had a lot of fun kind of painting those in. Background's always something that's been a bit of a struggle for me. Um, in this, I really blurred it out and desaturated the colours at the end to really make uh, Rani pop out of this piece. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with how the kind of curtains and kind of window bars turned out uh, in the end of this. Um, I really think it's, it kind of adds to that kind of mood of her and her tower.
and here is the final piece. I was really happy with how it turned out. I uh, hope you guys like it too, and thanks for joining in. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.